Hey guys, Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry here again. And today we are going to be talking about making freehand shields and texture stencils. Um, there'll be some links down in the description for the materials that I used and what I used to create these. So if you want to hit those, those are affiliate links. Of course, obviously, uh, you guys know how affiliate links work. They'll help me out if y'all order through there. If not, hey, no big deal. I'm not in this for the money. Anyway, stay tuned. We will get right to it. All right, guys. First thing, know is when you get this stuff, it's important to know, and they usually don't tell you, and it's very hard to tell. There's a clear plastic sheeting on there. You get that off. They can't be any good. All they do is make the edges rougher, especially if you get into burning and stuff like that later. So, uh, yeah, I use this stuff, and of course, you know, this is Mylar. Um, you know, you, you can get pretty. Yeah. It's flexible, much more flexible than, you know, some of the plastics, but enough that it's rigid. Uh, to give you a comparison, like, you know, and I, I still buy some stencils. Um, you know, this is, this is my big shield by, uh, you know, our tool, uh, made out of mylar, about the same thickness, and this is the mylar I buy, so, um, you know, it's going to give you about the same. Now, with that said, I'll tell you, you know, buying some stencils, um, sometimes a good idea. Um, you know, the, the quality of the stencils you can get bought are sometimes better, but, you know, not everybody has a ton of money spent. So, the cool thing about this stuff is really easy to cut with scissors. Yeah, you can get in some a lot of rough shape real easy. Um, this piece I've been just cutting, playing around on. All right, that's nice, Bill. But uh, what about those organic edge stencils and stuff that you've been making? What do you What are you doing with that? Well, I've got a stencil burner, um, and I'll put up links in the description for the Mylar stencil burner. I'm sure you guys got your own scissors and exacto knives. Um, but you know, a stencil burner is really cool in that it cuts right through this stuff. Uh, you can get into intricate details and shapes. Now, with that said, when you cut with the stencil burner, it is going to leave, see how that edge, just a little bit. See, you may have to do some work on there to straighten it out. You can get pretty intricate shapes when you're using a stencil burner like that. Uh, you follow any shape you want if you draw something out. Um, yeah. So yeah, you could get uh, pretty much any shape you want with a stencil burner. Um, you know what I do usually if I do a stencil burner, I might take and deburr them edges just a little bit not necessarily have to um but, you know one of the best uses for it um i need another one anyway haven't made one in a while you know i'll come over here how do i get them organic edges oh really cool i'll take the two them organic edges what i'll do i keep an iron handy and the iron's not on it's just there giving me something flat um it's usually like these organic edges, what I'll do is come in here and let that edge get good and hot, like that. You can come in here and burn it. And then what I do is take that iron, and that keeps that burred edge from happening so much. Um, Jab, I wanted to make myself, so that's what I'm going to do, is make myself a nice little organic edge stencil. rough texture you see that's you know and that's that simple it goes through it that quick 
Um, you know, I made a made a bunch of dot stencils. People were like, "Oh my God, those must take take forever to do." Um, no, it's a, really all you got to do with the dot for the dot stencils are you pressing down, and they have different tips for these, so you can get different shapes and textures pretty easily. Um, yeah, you see how quick I'm go I can go through them, and then if you go quickly, if you go. do a bunch of dots different sizes and shapes and in five minutes I could fill this entire sheet and decide on how close I want them together how far I want them apart it's that quick um, may the edge may get a little bit rough from this because it's burning through and what you can do is just take a little piece of sandpaper and knock that deeper real quick um, I've made all, all of my texture stencils, I mean other than the ones that I, all of my texture stencils pretty much with the exception of I have the Gerald Mendez texture effects, all of my other texture stencils that I have are pretty much homemade. So all the ones you see me using in my art are stencils I made myself. Yeah. If you want to get into more like I do some that are shapes like I'll drag my, my piece across it get some rougher shapes if you reason I keep this in here's here's where I start to get to where I keep this iron around if I wanted to come in here hit that with the iron to keep it from that edge from being rough I have uh, it depends on how hard you push down on it. You can get some pretty, pretty cool. And if you, so you get all that rough stuff. let it skip around not go all the way through it everywhere Yeah, it all depends. I mean, you got 30, 40 bucks you want to block, drop down on stencils, that's cool, but not everybody has money to blow on it when they're starting out. Um, this is a pretty cheap and easy way. You can make all sorts of stencils like that. And that is pretty much in a nutshell how I'm gonna make all of the Mylar texture stencils I have. And so if I draw through the line there, nice, nice little cracks. Got nice little dots there. And uh, and the thing about the Mylar is, you know, I mean, I've done them with other stuff. I've done, you know, file folders. You, you make stencils out of just about anything, paper, whatever. Um, the thing that's cool about the Mylar <clears throat> is it's solvent proof. It's flexible enough, but yet it's firm enough. So when you grab it, you know, it's not just flopping, but at the same time, if you want to wrap that on, say, if you need to wrap some textures on a stencil, on a helmet, or something like that, it'll go. But, uh, yeah, that's what I use. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate y'all for coming by here today. Remember, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. There'll be a lot more stuff coming around. If y'all want to keep up to date with what I got going on, hit that notification bell. Always, please share with your friends. We appreciate y'all coming out here and watching my channel. Y'all have a great day. Bye.